Hello everybody, I'm Cameron from Swift Devs, and today we are doing a web view tutorial. Um, I've been messing around with web views now for a while, and uh, I'm really liking how easy it is to set up a web view in Swift compared to the Obj Objective C way. So we're doing a single uh, web view or a single page, uh, actually a single view application, and we're going to call this web view. I'm just going to call it tutorial. So go ahead, do all that. I explained how to do all that in my Hello World tutorial, which uh, you can watch on the Swift Devs YouTube channel. So go ahead, save it. I've had a past one. So um, a web view is a uh, it's a simple way to load web content in a web browser. So, in fact, if you were to take a look at the Safari app in your iPhone, that's probably composed of just a web view and, you know, a couple of features for a um, for some bookmarks and a back button and stuff like that. Well, today we're going to we're going to mess around with that. So go ahead, device orientation, just do portrait and upside down. That's fine. Version 1, that's fine. Go to your main storyboard and uh, just make sure that we have it set with the um, phone size. We're just going to run it on a 5, uh, iPhone 5 simulator. So let's just go into the inspector and uh, get this. Or, yep, there we go. And orientation portrait. All right, so go ahead and bring in the web view element and put it in onto the... Um, view and voila you have your web view and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna have a toolbar um, and we're gonna display some stuff on the toolbar as well oh my there we go and um, just try to get it on there there we go all right so now open up your assistant uh, editor and go ahead and give yourself a little bit of room and uh, so all right, this outlet, go ahead and make an outlet for your web view, and we're just gonna call this um, web view. I mean, we're doing one web view, so we should just do web view. All right, now we gotta program the URL that we want the web view to go to. So we're gonna do var URL path equals, and then the string of the URL. So we're just going to do google.com. Now we want to take the um, we want to take that URL and load it in the web view. So now we're doing a function, and you can name the function whatever you want. But I'm going to do load address URL. Get that all set up. So now you're going to do let, and then after that we're going to name this request URL equals nsurl and we're going to use the string url path so okay looking at this you may be thinking okay what's going on well we're just we're just naming this request url whoops we're going to name this request url and then we're using the nsurl in order to load the url so essentially we're just telling we're pretty much putting the um, the URL path directly into the code. That's essentially what we're doing. We're kind of referencing it. So next, we want to do let request. I'm just going to call this one request because this is the actual request of the code above. NSURL request. So we're doing an NSURL request. And then we're going to do URL request URL. All right. So we're looking fine right now. Uh, nothing too fancy. I mean, it's same basic principle as the top. We're just referencing again. And then next, we actually want the web view to execute the command. So we're just going to do load request. Load, oh, my bad. Load request request. So pretty much the bottom references the middle, and the middle references the top, and the top references the URL path. That's essentially what's going on here. It's very, very basic. 
Um, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to launch this in the simulator on the iPhone 5. And we're going to go off of that. Let it compile. All right. It's loading up. Hopefully we won't get an error of some sort. I don't know why, but I've been having this error each time I uh, load up Xcode, these uh, set app thread priority. I've never had that, ever. <laughs> anyway, we're going to give this a little bit. Oh, okay. So I want to show you here what we did wrong. And um, this is very common. I, I do it quite a bit. Uh, maybe it's because I'm not quite used to Swift yet, but there's nothing coming up on the page. And that's because we forgot to put this load address URL into our view did load. So now we can fix everything with that one little command or that one little reference, I should say. It's not even much of a command. So this will pretty much fix everything. And once it comes up here, you should see Google. Let it load here, and we'll hopefully see Google. There it is. All right. So, like I said, I mean, now pretty much once you have access to Google, you have access to everything. So we could type in, oh, I meant Apple. Okay, whatever. But, um, so there's an Apple store near me. Good to know. Well, anyway, so you have access to almost the entire internet and just using with Google. And so let's say we go onto the Apple website, which, um, but we realize, oh, I don't want to, I don't actually want to be on Apple. How do we get out of this? You know, there's no back button, none of that. Well, we have this toolbar that we can edit. So let's go back into Xcode and we're going to mess around with this. So the toolbar, we need to select this button right here. And, um, I mean, we can, we can do a lot. Uh, with just this button and I mean we could put a rewind we can make it look like a rewind thing uh, we could do a stop button uh, or stop looking button or a refresh I mean whatever you want to do we're gonna go ahead though and I think we're just gonna do I'm let's see what the rewind one looks like we'll go ahead and we'll since I don't have anything else we'll just use the rewind right there now if we right click the web view, not the web, yes, the web view, <laughs> uh, you have received actions. You have go back, go forward, reload, stop loading. So we can do go back. Voila. Now let's put in a uh, but another button on the toolbar. So this is a button bar item. So let's bring in just two items. And then the next one, let's do a uh, stop button. Turns it into a stop button. Can we give this a little bit more room, please? <laughs> Apparently not. That can... So, okay. So now we do the same thing. We right click, we hit stop loading, and we just put it right there, right on the stop button. Now, let's say we want to reload. Uh, we can get the button. Come on and we can find the refresh and then we can find that and hit just drag it in so a little bit of right clicking and now you pretty much I mean except for not having a URL bar you pretty much have a full out web browser right there on your phone and um, now this isn't something that I'd recommend doing and then uploading to Apple and expecting it to get in it may get in if you have a really good UI to it or something and um, make it look good but uh, I, I don't think that this will just slip by and get in so if we load it Google loads let's Google Google and now we can go back we can refresh and let's see here let's load up Apple and stop it we could stop all like that go back refresh everything's working so that is the basic um, web view interface I will go more in-depth um, 
on what else you can do with web views uh, in a later tutorial. But um, for now, uh, that's all I have. So thank you for watching this. I'm Cameron for Swift Devs.